Nine. So, <laughs> you in the ad lib. Mm -hmm. You so cute. Yeah, my husband just got a haircut today. Y'all know how we feel about them fresh cuts. A very good weekend. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you. So today we have my husband, Tony, here. What's up, y'all? And we are having some a seafood boil. I have some crab legs here, some Dungeness crab, snow crab, sausage, egg, potatoes. Yes. I think that's it. For today's drink, I'm just doing a tequila sunrise. And I'm doing a rum and coke. Rum and Coke. So we're going to go ahead and say Grace. Amen. And we're going to go ahead and get started. We have our mayo mustard dip back here. So there's no room on the plates. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's get it. I'm so hungry. And I'm so sleepy. We're hot. Yes, on that burner. You can turn the burner down if you want to. I hope everybody's doing well. Mm. I haven't had potatoes in a while. It's about to go down. Y'all see that dungeon is right there? Oh yeah. We got the um let me switch my chair over. We got the crab legs from Rose. I'll try one of these eggs. The egg gonna get you full. <clears throat> All right, y'all, so I do have a story time. We're going to try to do this today. Y'all know when we have company, we usually don't do story time because Tony like to try to intervene. <laughs> but we're going to get through this today because he didn't watch the show with me, so he don't know what happened. So he can't try to force me to tell every single detail because y'all know I like to twist it up a little bit. <laughs> so... This was on the episode from last night, if y'all watch For My Man. It comes on Thursday night on TV One. Today, Friday, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was a girl. We'll call her Tiffany. So Tiffany moved to Atlanta for better opportunities, her and her little sister. So, they never mentioned like who they lived with and stuff like that. So a few weeks in, she was sitting at the bus stop and Tyrone pulls up. So Tyrone gives her to come to the car. He flirting with her a little bit. And Tyrone was like, man, you too pretty to be sitting at this bus stop. OG move. He ain't really say it like that, but y'all know. They're like, y'all, you too pretty to be sitting at this bus stop. Let me give you a ride. So she was like, boy, I don't know you like that. I ain't getting in your car. So he was like, girl, ain't nobody gonna do nothing. You get in the car, let me give you a ride. So he gave her a ride to the house. They talking. When he dropped her off, it takes all night long. And she just felt like God done sent her an angel. <clears throat> so with them texting all night, he being so sweet she decided the next day she was gonna sell the deal and they were gonna get down and dirty dang the next day 
So they did their thing or whatever. She in love. She get up out of the bed. He in the kitchen making breakfast. He done made the moon over my hammer and everything. Romeo. <laughs> Swallow it. So they sitting at the table. They having breakfast. He done fixed up mimosa. He mm. just romancing them. Whining and dining. So <laughs> you in the ad libs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so this episode was actually a snooze fest. But I hung in there, child. So he tells Tiffany. Why don't you? Did I say her name was gonna be Tiffany? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, I'm I'm sleepy. I'm so sleepy. But um. So he tells Tiffany, "Why don't you come stay with me?" So because they just had this very passionate. Ooh, that was I, I don't know. And juicy. But because they just had this very passionate encounter, she said yes. So now her and her sister lives with him. Okay. So everything good. He's being sweet. You know, he doing this little thing. She haven't found a job yet, so they was barely making it. So then things start getting a little rocky because bills start getting tight. So he was saying, you know, well, we got to come up with a way to get some money. Not she got to come up with a job. They got to come up with a way to get some money. So they out here scamming. So he told her to go on one of the dating sites get to know one of the guys and then they'll run up on them. So she was like, I don't know nothing about that. You know, like I'm not, I don't do stuff like that. I don't really want to get involved in stuff like that. Like we might get called. We don't got no, I don't know. You know, we don't really got no plan like that. So she was like, she don't want to get her sister involved in that type of stuff. This is her younger sister? Yeah, it was her little sister. But he told her, he said, the only thing you got to do is just talk to the dude and we'll handle everything else. I'll have us a getaway car and everything. So, of course, because he this smooth operator, she fall for it. She fall for the okie doke. Are you listening to the story? Yeah, I'm listening. I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> you so cute. You're beautiful. If y'all can't tell, my husband just got a haircut today. Y'all know how we feel about them fresh cuts. A very good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get back to the story because I don't got time for y'all. So, she meets a guy on the internet. They talk him. So after a while, he invited her to a party, her and her sister. And he had a friend for the sister. So they meet up, it's a house party going on. They feeling each other, whatever, flirting, laughing, dancing. So she texts him, Tyrone, um, Tiffany's texting Tyrone, telling him, you know, it's a house full of people. Don't run up over here like that because it's not going down like that. Like you think it's going to go. With all these people here. And she don't want to get caught. So he was like. Don't worry about it. Just get them outside the house. So. After a while. You know. Dancing. Drinking. Whatever. She tell him. Okay. Well I got to go. And I'm going to catch the train. I didn't even know they had trains in uh, Atlanta. The Marta. Oh. 
Yep. Well, she said, so we got to go ahead and catch the train. You don't have a towel. They use mine. I got to do something. Hold on. I got to do So, and they walk her outside, her and her sister. Her sister vibing with the little, the homeboy. And the other boy think he vibing with Tiffany, but he not. So, they walking down the street. A black suburban pulls up on the side of them. It's Tyrone and his homeboy. They jump out the car. They got the peacemakers pull up. Of course, the girls act like they don't know what's going on. They hold their hands up, acting scared and all that. So, the dude that Tiffany was talking to, he took off running. Tyrone started busting at him. Dang. But he didn't hit him. So, the dude got away. But he was kind of like looking behind the building to see what was going on. So, he noticed that the girls knew who the dudes were because they got in the car, they was talking to him or whatever. So he like, damn, they set us up. What happened to the friend? So they st oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just wondering. Cause you said he ran. I wanna know Chill, Sean, I done told you. See how he doing me. So they start beating up the friend. So his homeboy getting pistol whipped. They check his pockets and then they get in the car and drive off. So he run back out there, see if his friend okay. He got a little bumps and bruises, but he all right. So they call the police. They, you know, give the descriptions of the people. And so they found the truck that the guys was in like almost immediately. So they started to have to be chased. So Tyrone going 100 miles per hour, just going crazy. Lose um, control of the car wow. and runs into a telephone pole. Yeah. So the police are on a tail. So they, the police is right behind them. So they all get out of the car and run. Tyrone runs left and all of them ran right. Damn. The dude, Tyrone's homeboy, tripped the girls so they can fall and get, caught. and get caught and he can get away. Which was stupid. So they fell, busted, one of the, um, Tiffany's sister busted her knee up. And she had the gun whenever the police got her up, the gun, the gun was under her. So I think the dude threw the gun down and made them fall on top of the gun. What? So, they still um, caught the homeboy, but they couldn't find Tyrone, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all should have seen this boy picture. He looked a fool. Ooh. The boy, the homeboy. I'm like, uh-uh. He done tripped the got dag on girls. So, when they get to the police station... And they start questioning them like, okay, who was the driver? Who was the driver? Tiffany and her sister, they not talking. She going to ride for her man. He done looked out for her. He done took care of her. She just met this dude last week though, okay? She ain't going to say nothing. She not giving up her boyfriend. She's dug. The homeboy, he ain't saying nothing. Y'all know he ain't no snitch. She got to stick to the code. But that's to, to the G code. Mm. The sister ain't say nothing either. Mm. So, the detectives was telling Tiffany like, well, you know, we have the witnesses. They know exactly who you are. They and and we found one of the sus one of the victims, um, his cell phone, his wallet in the car. Damn. Now, mind you. This little stick up that they thought they did. The dude only had six dollars in his wallet. What? That man got a debit card, dude. Right. He only had six dollars 
and you done ruined your life for six dollars. Six dollars. <laughs> so she still ain't saying nothing. So she communicating with um, Tyrone while she locked up, but they and you know the police and stuff are listening to the calls, but they did not want mention what went down at night. She would just ask him like, are you making moves to send me some money? Are you making moves to try to help me out? But they never discussed the situation. So he, she told him to file her taxes for her and put half the money on her books and half the money on her sister books. The next time she tried to call him, his phone was disconnected. Don't tell me that boy took the money. His phone was disconnected. How the heck can he file her taxes? That's what I was wondering. God dang. So then here come the detective. Detective, um, Detective Keisha. Detective Keisha comes. She pulled Tiffany out to come talk to her. She said, let me talk to you for a minute. Are you sure that you don't want to turn him in? You need to tell us where this guy is. So we can get to the bottom of this. Because one of the victims was in the hospital, but he was, he was okay. So she like, no, you know, it was just us. I don't know who the other guy was, you know, still taking up for him. Honey, Detective Keisha, she had a picture. Tyrone has a new woman. Mm -hmm. Becky. Oh man. Blonde hair, blue eyed Becky. Oh, so Tiffany hot now. So she done told everything. They went to his house and I fell asleep. Damn. <laughs> I fell asleep on the ranch, y'all. I, I had a long night, okay? Damn. My oldest son was here last night. I was tired. I fell asleep. So now y'all got to let me know what happened. What happened. Good dang. So your girl went to sleep. I'm telling y'all that episode was kind of like a snooze fest. Because I'm like, how you going to get up the next day? You don't know nothing about this fool. What you thought about that? I did good. You like the way I be telling my stories? Well, good. I just want to know the ending. But you think I do a good job? Yeah, you do a great job. You do good. <clears throat> See, with you, you want every single detail. When you tell a story, you, uh, when, when if you watch the show with me, you want me to tell every single detail. So I have to skip a little something. And sometimes I add some stuff in just to make it juicy. You know, because I'm a storyteller. You know? So... But you want me to, uh-uh, because you know he went to the gas station first before he did that. Yeah, I'll be at work when, I, I, when, I'm, when I'm listening to the stories and if it's something I seen, I'm like, dang, she forgot this part. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't, I try to do my bit, keep my videos like 20 minutes, so yeah, I just shorten it up. I don't tell like every single thing. That's how you tell the story. But then like... What's crazy is how they be switching, they switch the videos up now. Yeah, they switch the videos up. They be showing different parts of the story. Yeah, so you They'll show the beginning part of the story and the middle of the story. Yeah, I mean, they always will tell you like the ending and the beginning of the story, but that that's it, it's just the beginning. And then, but now, the with the new for my man, they keep going back to the ending of the story. Like in the beginning and in the middle, and it just kind of mixes you up, so you have to pay attention to it. But, you know, I know what I'm doing, so, period. You gonna take a nap with me? I'm not taking a nap. You say that every time. My husband says that every time, every weekend, I'm like, let's take a nap. He was like, I ain't taking no nap. Next thing you know. If I'm going to the room, I'm not taking a nap. Oh, you coming in the room. And then. Oh, you coming in the room. I'll go to sleep and she'll still be up. Yeah, at night. Oh, sometimes, you know, sometimes if I'm tired on the weekend, I go to sleep. While I'm watching TV, I'll be asleep. Yeah, but that's just like a little cat nap. 
Sometimes. I need like a real nap. I'm sleeping. You need sleep. I ain't doing that. I'm about to be up. Well, you can, we can just at least snuggle. Yeah, and we have that too. Baby, what? You gonna have to see me back that night. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come clean. <laughs> <laughs> How was it in the barbershop though? Are they social distancing? There was nobody in the barbershop. You said it was um, only appointments only. Oh, okay. Even if somebody walk in, appointments only. So I usually do my appointments pretty early if I'm off and I don't have nothing to do. So I scheduled mine early. So when I got to the barbershop, there was no one there. He wasn't even in there. He was sitting in his car. Yeah. So it was just us and then me and Tony. I'm done. You finish? Mm -hmm. I am done. I gotta go open my packages. I got some mail from some of my subscribers, which I usually open on my vlog channel. Y'all don't forget to follow me on my vlog channel. I am Sharika B. If you guys love me, I'm going to expect to see a whole lot of new subscribers today. Yeah, go show some love, man. Ooh. Okay, guys, so I hope you're done eating. If you're eating with me, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the next two videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all. Peace out. <laughs>